You're watching Morning Mix, maybe with a cup of coffee in your hand. Having that third or fourth or fifth cup of coffee? Or maybe you love sodas. Well, heads up, new research has come out showing that people who drink greater than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day are more likely to develop heart disease. Really? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, we are joined again by Dr. Brandon Bentley with the Department of Family and Community Medicine with Wellstar MCG Health, as well as student doctor Stacy Boudour. And for today's Wellness Wednesday, we're discussing the pros and cons of caffeine intake. Hey, guys, thanks for Good joining morning. us. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so can there be too much is the big question here. Dr. Bentley, does caffeine have negative side effects on you? It can. So caffeine in high amounts can lead to some negative side effects, uh, jitteriness, anxiety. It can lead to an elevated heart rate, elevated blood pressure. Uh, it can put some folks who have underlying medical conditions at greater risk. Uh, so things like uh, seizure and, and other uh, major concerns. It also has a lot of sugar in it if you're consuming it in energy drink form mm -hmm. or soda form. Uh, so we need to be mindful of the sugar that's going along with the caffeine. And student Dr. Bidor, are there any positive effects of caffeine? I'm sure there are, right? Yeah, there are some positive effects. Um, so as you know, probably why we all drink it, it can increase alertness. Um, it can, um, you know, make us feel more awake. It can um, improve some performance as well for like some athletes. And Dr. Bentley can probably elaborate some more, but it can have some, some positive benefits as well. Okay, and you see some right there as well. Um, Dr. Bentley, how much is too much? I mean, I guess people, it varies between people, right? It does. So if you are especially responsive to caffeine, then you probably shouldn't be going towards that upper, lim uh, upper limit of normal. Uh, we've seen that around three to 400 can be safe in uh, an average healthy adult. Uh, that number should be reduced in uh, pregnant patients. So we don't want to elevate our caffeine intake uh, during pregnancy. Uh, but again, if we're already sensitive or we have underlying medical conditions, we should be mindful and not push that upper limit. Uh, I'm, I know that most people will see stories on a regular basis of someone consuming too much caffeine and having a very negative result. Uh, and while that can happen and it's not everyone, right. we just need to be very mindful of what we are doing. And Dr. Bedore, I know we don't really hear people giving their kids coffee, but are energy drinks safe for children? So the American Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend um, energy drinks for children. Um, the increased amount of caffeine in there can really impact their sleep, um, some of their other like health problems like their brain development. Um, there's also often a lot of sugar, um, so that's a, a big source of increased calories that they could be getting as well in those energy drinks. Uh, so here's a question. Uh, say somebody's having a lot of caffeine. Mm -hmm. it, this isn't a matter of uh, if you're trying to trim down, you're not quitting cold turkey, so to speak. Are there ways of actually kind of slowing down the caffeine intake? Absolutely, because if you try to quit cold turkey, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, you're going to end up with a little bit of a headache. It can be very jittery, as we're demonstrating here. Um, and so you'll end up with this rebound from caffeine withdrawal, uh, and that's unpleasant at best. Um, so if you are along those upper limits of 400 milligrams of caffeine or higher, we recommend slowly reducing. So if you're at eight cups of coffee a day, let's try six. Let's try cutting it out before six o'clock. Good time for, for most people who have trouble sleeping and having uh, caffeine too late in the day. Uh, so we're trying to reduce the frequency and the total volume over time. Uh, and hopefully we can lessen our dependence on that caffeine because it's a vicious cycle. We're tired, we have the caffeine, the caffeine keeps us up, then we're tired the next day and it just keeps on going. Yeah. There's, there's no way to get around it. I saw somebody post on Facebook a meme. It was like, I don't even know if I need coffee anymore. I might just need to chew on an electric wire. <laughs> so that's, a, that's not along, the, they're not wrong when it comes along So with some that. people are probably watching like, you're gonna have to pry it out of my hands. Yeah, probably, yeah okay. I, I don't wanna ever put it, like coffee's okay. <laughs> yeah, We're okay to yeah. have a couple cups, it's all right. Uh, we're talking about the extreme just upper Just lost limits another endorsement and, right there. And having Eight two cups. cups. <laughs> right. So yeah, so uh, scale it back. Uh, always try to find an alternative as well, but yeah. Everything in moderation. Everything yep. in moderation. Doctors, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Good to see you guys. All right.